A solid shaft can resist a bending moment of 3 kN meter, a twisting moment of 4 kN meter together. Maximum torque we have to find out. Maximum torque means we have to find out the value of T and we know that the value of T is same as equal to under root of M square plus T square is under root of bending moment is 3 so we have 3 square and twisting moment equal to 4 square 16 plus 9 that equal to 25 is equal to 5 kilo newton meter choice D is correct a shaft is simultaneously subjected to torque T and the bending moment M the ratio of the maximum shear to the bending stress we have to calculate Simply you have to calculate here the ratio of the maximum shear to the bending stress. If the torque T is applied, then the torque T will produce a shear stress is given as pi divided by 16 multiplied by dQ multiplied by tau max. That is we have tau max will be equal to 16 times T divided by pi into dQ. Similar to this, we have maximum bending stress, sigma b maximum will be equal to 32 times m divided by pi dq. We are interested to know the ratio of maximum shear tau max to the maximum bending stress. So the ratio of maximum shear tau max divided by maximum bending stress, sigma b maximum. 16 pi d cube and 32 pi d cube it pi d cube pi d cube will get cancelled we have 16 times of t divided by 32 times of m that is equal to t divided by 2 times of m t divided by 2 times of m choice d is correct choice a circular solid shaft is subjected to bending moment of 400 kilonewton meter a twisting moment of 300 kilonewton meter on the basis of maximum principal stress theory the direct stress is sigma that is sigma max and the according to the maximum shear stress theory the shear stress is equal to tau max the ratio of the sigma by tau you have to calculate so if a solid shaft is subjected to bending moment it will produce a bending stress equal to sigma bending maximum is sigma x equal to 32 m by pi dq and because of a twisting moment that the maximum shear tau xy equal to 16 times t divided by pi dq. We want to find out the value of the sigma that is according to the maximum principal stress theory. Sigma max we have to find out. According to the maximum principal stress theory, sigma max is given as sigma x plus sigma y by 2 plus under root of sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square plus tau xy square. So one way is to calculate the principal stress is substitute the value of sigma x sigma y equal to 0 and tau xy equal to 16 times t by pi dq. The second way you can calculate the value of sigma max equal to 32 times m equivalent divided by pi dq. I suppose this formula is simple only we need to calculate here me. Value of me is given as 1 by 2 into m plus under root of m square plus t square. The bending moment m is given as 400 kilonewton meter and the torque is given as 300 kilonewton meter. So in this case first we calculate here the value of me and then we'll calculate sigma max. So let's calculate here first equivalent bending moment that will be equal to 1 by 2. Value of m is equal to 400 plus under root of 400 square plus 300 square under root of 400 square plus 300 square is same as 500 500 plus 400 is 900 by 2 that equal to 450 kilo newton meter so let's substitute here we have 32 into 450 divided by pi d cube and we will multiply by 10 to the power 6 to convert into Newton mm. And by maximum shear stress theory, 
tau max equal to under root of sigma x minus sigma by 2 whole square plus tau xy square. Here the value of tau max we can calculate as 16 times t e divided by pi d cube. Now equivalent tau t we can calculate as under root of m square plus t square is equal to under root of 400 square plus 300 square that equal to 500 will be kilo newton meter. So let's substitute here and we can find the value of tau max. So we have tau max equal to 16 into 500 that is kilo. So multiply by 10 to the power 6 divided by pi d cube. We are interested to know the ratio of sigma by tau that is the ratio of sigma max by tau max. In both these equations denominator is same that is pi d cube. We have 32 multiplied by 450. 10 to the power 6 is also cancelled divided by 16 into 500. So this 32 and 16 means 2 means 2 will left in numerator and this one is 5 and this one is 4.5. 4.5 into 2 is 9 and 9 divided by 5. 9 divided by 5 choice C is correct. A hollow transmission shaft has an inside diameter is 0.75 times the outside diameter. The maximum torsional and the bending moment acting on the shaft are 1200 Newton meter and 1125 Newton meter respectively. Permissible shear stress of the shaft material is about 84 megapascal. Inside diameter of the shaft we have to find out. So we have given here the hollow shaft and we have inside diameter di is 0.75 times the outside diameter. It means that the value of k which is given as di divided by do is equal to 0.75. The torque applied t is equal to 1200 newton meter and the bending moment m is equal to 1125 newton meter permissive value of the shear stress that is the tau max will be equal to 84 that will be megapascal and we have to find out the inside diameter di maximum shear you can calculate as tau max equal to under root of sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square plus tau x y square but this one is a lengthy procedure so we can calculate tau max is equal to 16 times the equivalent twisting moment t divided by or hollow shaft this term will be equal to pi into do cube into 1 minus k to the power 4 only thing that we have to calculate the value of t that is the equivalent torque the equivalent torque will be given as under root of m square plus v of t square so we have equivalent torque is under root of m square m is equal to 1125 so we have 1125 square of it and we have torque is equal to 1200 so we have 1200 square this answer will come in newton meter and we have equivalent torque t will be equal to 1644.85 that will be newton meter now tau max we can calculate as 16 times t divided by pi d o cube into 1 minus k to the power 4. So we have 16. Equivalent torque is equal to 1644.85 is newton meter. So we will multiply by 10 to the power 3. Whole thing is divided by pi into d o cube 1 minus constant k is 0 0.75. 0 0.75 and power is 4 and the maximum shear is given as 84 solve this you will get the value of do that is the outside diameter outside diameter will come out to be 52.64 mm and since we have inside diameter is 0 0.75 times the outside diameter so we can calculate here di is equal to 39.5 mm 
A solid circular shaft of diameter equal to 100 mm is subjected to an axial stress of 50 MPa. Axial stress is uniform distribution over a cross section of 100 mm diameter and is further subjected to torque of 10 Kn. So maximum shear stress will be at the outer radius that equal to 50 mm. It means that any point on the outer circumference will be a critical point. The maximum principal stress experience on the shaft is close to megapascal we have to find out. The solid shaft has a diameter equal to 100 mm and we have sigma x. We will treat this value as a positive value is 50 megapascal and this value is uniform over the entire cross section and torque is also given that equal to 10 kilo newton meter. Using torque we can calculate the value of tau max. So we have maximum shear tau max will be treated here after as a tau xy will be equal to 16 times t divided by pi d cube. This shear stress is maximum at outer radius is equal to 16 multiplied by torque which is equal to 10 into 10 to the power 6 and is divided by pi d cube diameter equal to 100 mm. So we have 100 cube. So shear stress is given as 50.92 megapascal. 50.92 megapascal. So two dimensional state of stress is shown here. We have tau xy is same as equal to 50.92 and sigma x equal to 50 megapascal. No stress is acting along the y direction. So we have sigma y equal to 0. Maximum principal stress we are interested is equal to sigma x plus sigma y by 2. So we have sigma x is equal to 50 divided by 2 plus we have under root of sigma x sigma y is 0 sigma x is equal to 50. So we have 50 divided by 2 and we have whole square plus we have tau xy is 50.92 and we have square of it. So maximum value of the principal stress will come out to be 81.73 that will be mega pascal. A circular shaft is subjected to combined action of a bending, twisting and the direct axial loading. The maximum bending stress is 100, maximum shearing stress is 100 root 3 mega pascal and uniform axial stress of 100 megapascal but with compressive R produce. The maximum compressive normal stress produced in the shaft will be you have to find out. Now the bending stress here can be positive or can be negative. We have a more well the negative value if we have to consider the bending stress as a negative and the shearing stress is same as 100 root 3. Since here the bending stress can be positive or negative in the first case I have taken the bending stress positive and the second case I have taken the bending stress negative both time we have uniform axial compressive stress of 100 so that value you have to treat as a negative and we have tau xy is given as 100 root 3 mega pascal naturally this time this value will be lower value and in fact this value will come out to be 0 because bending stress is also given as 100 as well as axial stress is also given as 100 so sigma x equal to 0 in the second case we have sigma x equal to minus 100 and sigma axial is also minus 100 that will be minus 200 and the shear stress here is equal to 100 times root 3. So the stress on this element will be higher so this will be called as critical stress and we are interested to know here the maximum compressive stress. So we will calculate here both value that is the maximum normal and the minimum normal and we will select the most negative value. In this case we have sigma x plus sigma by 2. Sigma y for this element will be equal to 0. So we have sigma x equal to minus 200 divided by 2 plus minus under root of sigma x plus sigma y by 2 is same as equal to minus 200 divided by 2 and we have to make a square of it plus we have tau xy is 100 root 3 and we have to make a square of it 
if you consider negative and uh, negative sign it means that we will get the maximum compressive stress so we have maximum compressive stress minus 300 megapascal A generator shaft of hollow cross section with OD equal to 200, ID equal to 160 is subjected to simultaneously torque of 11.1 kN meter and axial compressive load of 362 kN. Compressive means you have to take the negative value. Maximum shear stress in the shaft you have to find out. So we have given here the hollow shaft whose outside diameter TO is equal to 200 mm and the inside diameter di is equal to 160 mm so in fact here we know the value of k is equal to di divided by do 160 divided by 200 that is equal to 0.8 is subjected to torque this torque will develop the maximum shear on the outer surface is 11.1 kilo newton meter and the Actual load P is compressive, will take it negative, is 362 kilo newton. So the actual stress produced is sigma x is equal to P divided by area, is same as equal to 4 times of P divided by pi into do square minus di square. So we have minus 4. P is negative value is 362 is kilo so 10 to the power 3 divided by pi diameter do is equal to 200 so we have 200 square minus 160 square solve this you will get sigma x and the value of sigma x will be equal to minus 32 will be mega pascal so this one is compressive in nature then the shear stress we can calculate as tau xy basically it's a tau max is 16 times the torque t divided by for hollow shaft it is pi by 16 do cube into 1 minus k to the power 4 so we have 16 torque is equal to 11.1 .1 is kilo newton meter 10 to the power 6 is divided by pi do is equal to 200 cube into 1 minus k is 1 minus 0.8 to the power 4 so we have maximum shear that is tau xy come out to be 11.96 mega pascal so for given state of a stress we have shear stress equal to 11.96 mega pascal and sigma x equal to minus 32 that is also mega pascal no shear along the y direction so sigma y will be equal to zero we can calculate here the maximum shear stress equal to under root of sigma x sigma y by 2 whole square plus tau xy square so we have under root of sigma x equal to minus 32 sigma y is zero so we have minus 32 by 2 whole square plus we have tau xy is 11.96 square of it find this under root it will give you tau max so we have maximum shear stress equal to 90.97 that will be mega pascal the video you are watching is from the app which is the more class app available on google store and in this app we will cover all subjects involved in mechanical engineering for gate join the course directly from your mobile the link is given here